Welcome, family. Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. I am your pastor of this ministry. My name is Duan L. For those who are new to the ministry, welcome. Uh, I invite everyone in. Uh, I always have to give the disclaimer uh, for those who are uh, involved in this ministry, followers of Christ, and those who are just passing through in traffic. Amen. Uh, I always give the disclaimer. I'm going to try not to be long. Family flow with me. And uh, this is a right now word for all of us. I do believe, I truly believe that the word of God is a right now word. It is active. As we know, it is alive. It is the spirit of God. And he's always talking to us, right? Even when we feel like we don't hear him, we go to the word. We seek the word, right? We seek the word. And today, uh, t today has been very interesting. Um, uh, church was great. It was wonderful. Uh, we, we spoke, uh, the pastor spoke about uh, God's provision and being that, a, being a memorial, uh, how God, just trusting God and how he has withdrew the waters of Jordan so you and I can walk into our dry land to get to the other side, how he provides for us. And that was just powerful, even in a time of need, uh, when we ask God, we when we can't always see things clearly, you know, we ask God to provide, to part our Jordan, if you will, to part our Red Sea so we could get in, so we could get through the situation we may be uh, all experiencing, you know, and it could be something that you are experiencing right now. It could be something that you are, that, that you are still experiencing and it's been a lengthy process, right? And I can, you know, I can only, you know, for myself, you know, there there are a few things that 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 are, you know, still in the process. You know, it's it's lengthy, and it's some and some things has been years, family. Some things have been years, and I'm still praying for. It. I still believe the Lord for. It. I still trust the Lord for. It. I still know that, you know, God has me. He is my source. God is faithful. He sent his word to perform. His word is Jesus Christ to perform in our lives because of our acceptance of the word of God, of Jesus into our lives, our Lord and Savior, right? It's already finished. And again, God is not on our, he, God created time. And you and I live in time right now real time right now god created time for us not for himself for us right so when he performs it's when he says so when he's ready for us to receive when he wants to part your red sea when he wants to part your jordan right it's all god's perfect timing and we all have to trust that amen and there's some things I'm trusting for the Lord, you know, with my daughter. Hey, you know, I, I, you know, the Holy Spirit told me, take your hands off of it. Take your hands off of it. You're not God. You can't change her situation. You can't change the way she thinks. You can't change anything. Same like with you. Can no one change anything about you, me, only God. No matter how we understand it, no matter the facts are present in front of us, no matter uh, what we know about it, how we perceive things to be, listen, you can only, again, and I, I, do, I do this constantly, you know, plant seeds of faith. Plant seeds of faith. Speak encouragement. Speak life. Right? Speak the word, what the word says, what God says about your children, what God says about your child. Right? It starts with me. It starts with you. Amen? And so, again, just years, you know, and just believing the Lord for, and, you know, and, and also knowing family, also knowing that whatever you and I pray for, expect to receive it. Believe that we've already received it, right? Our faith, we walk by faith, not by sight. 
we walk by faith and not by sight. And, you know, some things, what's coming to my spirit right now is just thinking, I, 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 I don't remember the name, but I, I do believe a pastor says, have said that some things that we ask God for, it has not come to pass because of our heart posture, what's in our hearts, whether it be unforgiveness, whether it be unbelief, whether it be we expecting God to do in this time frame, and because he has not, you know, we, we become like the waves, we, we, we being tossed to and fro, right? And so we have to check the temperature of our hearts. We have to always go to God. And we know that we know. You understand? We know that we know because, you know, there's conviction. The Holy Spirit gives us conviction. And we have to ask the Lord, Lord, search my hands. Like David asked, search my hands, Father. Search me. And what be in me, Father, take it from me. I repent. I repent of my sins. I repent for things that are unknown. I repent anything that I've done before you, Father God. I repent. Forgive me. You know, and he wants, when we come before the Lord, he doesn't want to see any blemish, wrinkle, or spots. Which means we have to be cleansed, family. We have to be obedient. We can't come to him one way and then turn around and go another way. No, it's constant obedience. Constantly staying connected. You know, there's no... The pastor says, he, I remember him saying, you know, stop playing with the devil. Stop playing hokey pokey. Stop playing with the devil. Stop allowing the devil to play with you. You, you, and, 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 and God says you're either hot or you're cold. You're hot or you're cold. And for those, for some of us that has, you know, turned away, hokey pokey, right? Or just this miracle round, right? And just in between not knowing if you want to uh, be obedient to God or just want to be obedient to your flesh, you there's nothing you and I can do about it. We can just only pray for others. That's it. Pray for others and see the hand of God move in their lives. You know, the pastor says, believe you me, people are watching you. People are hearing you when you speak. You are or you're not. And for me, it's very important that even in private, in my private time, what I do behind closed doors, what I do inside my home, what I'm doing, wherever space I am in my home, God sees all. He sees all. And am I the same person Am I the same person? Are you the same person that left home? Hear me, family, those with ears, let them hear. Are you the same person at home when you are in public? Are you the same person that left from home when you're out in the world? And you know, the Holy Spirit told me doing service, doing prayer, You are. When when Jacob, let, let me bookmark. When Jacob, when Jacob, let's actually let's 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 put some word on it. Um, Joshua, Joshua chapter three. Joshua chapter let's 
excuse me. Chapter three. Family, if you have the Bible, have your Bibles. Seek the word yourselves. Joshua chapter three. And I am reading. I am reading from the NKJV version. It was 14. Let's start in verse. Is it 14? Let's actually start in uh, chapter 3, verse 5. Joshua told the people, Consecrate yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do amazing things among you. Joshua told, excuse me, Joshua said to the priests, Take up the Ark of the Covenant and pass on ahead of the people. So they took it up and went ahead of, of them. And the Lord said to Joshua, Today I will... Today I will begin to exalt you in the eyes of Israel, so they may know that I am with you as I was with Moses. Tell the priests who carry the Ark of the Covenant, when you reach the edge of the Jordan's waters, go and stand in the river. Verse 9, Joshua said to the Israelites, come here and listen to the words of the Lord your God. Verse 10, this is how you will know that the living God is among you and that he will certainly drive out before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Parasites, the Gersurites, if I'm saying it correctly, forgive me. It sounds like I'm chopping it, but Jergashites, I may be chopping it, but forgive me, family. Amorites and Jubasites, see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth will go into the Jordan ahead of you. Now then choose 12 men from the tribes of Israel, one from each tribe. Hear the Lord. One from each tribe. And soon as the priests who carry the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, set foot in the Jordan, its waters flowing down, stream will, will be cut off and stand up in a heap. So when the people broke camp to cross the Jordan, the priest carrying the Ark of the Jordan, the priest carrying the Ark of the Covenant, excuse me, went ahead of them. Now the Jordan is at flood stage all during harvest. Yet as soon as the priests who carry the Ark reached the Jordan and their feet touched the water's edge, the water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at a town called Adam in the vicinity of of Zerathan, while the water flowing down to the Sea of the Arabah, that is the Dead Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. The priests who carried the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stopped in the middle of the Jordan and stood on dry ground, while all Israel passed by until the whole nation had completed the crossing on dry ground. On dry ground. On dry ground. And so, and when you read further, God told Joshua, for all the, the 12 tribes that, that he told, choose one from each tribe. God said, this will be a memorial. Set each, pick a stone and lay them here. 12 stones for each tribe. This here will be a memorial. When your children ask, who asks, what is this? You will tell them what this is and why it is here. You will know that I am your Lord God. I will make a way for you. My word is bond. My word is my word. They would know who you are talking of, who you are speaking of, the true and living God. And so 
the Holy Spirit during prayer time, the Holy Spirit said, yes, you are a memorial. You are a memorial. You are a, an active living memorial because what God has done for us, we are a memorial of God's grace, his love, his son, given his son, our sanctification, our remission of our sins. We are a memorial, an active, living, remnant memorial of God's gift to us, to man, which is his son, Jesus Christ. Right? And so when people ask about you, when people have these amazing questions, they want to know about your God that you serve, we could tell them. We could tell them why we serve, who we serve, right? And what God has done for us. He's, he will make a way. Even if, even when you think, you know, Lord, where you at? It's been this long. And trust me, I've had, I've had, uh, those conversations with God, you know, I'm not seeing anything, Lord. You said you would do it. I, I trust you. I believe you. It shall come to pass. And then sometimes, I don't know about you all, but sometimes it's like when you begin to question so much, hear me now, it's, 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 it's okay to question God. We, we are human. We're supposed to come to him boldly, right? To the throne. He wants us to express our feelings to him. But sometimes I've, I, I've, I've experienced this. When I question too much, when I question too much and God already answered me, and when I expect him to answer again, sometimes doubt can try. Doubt can try to take root. And we cannot allow that to happen, family. We have to continuously be germinated by the word of God and let it take root and have it take root and grow it. God waters. The word has to be written in our hearts, on the tablets of our hearts. The truth has to be bound around our necks. We have to walk uprightly before the Lord in all that we do. Yes, God knows we are imperfect, but where is your heart? Who does your heart belong to? Who do you serve? Who do you love? Amen. So I want, I want you guys to understand no matter, no matter what you and I are going through, it matters to the Lord. But hear me, no matter the winds, the waves, the crashing, the waters in your boat, guess what? Jesus slept. He slept peacefully. Which tells us, though we have our troubles, Jesus told us to take heart. Even when you are in your trials or tribulations, even when you're being tried by fire, even when no one else sees you, even when no one else sees you, he does. And he called you and he chose you. Even when people are against you, people are slandering your name, people are murmuring against you, talking about you, hate towards you, the, the ugly things that cannot even be repeated that people say about you, you may think about you, their words, their thoughts, take heart. Even when doors close, take heart. 
even when you feel like you missed opportunities, take heart. Even when you feel like you're not going to make it tomorrow or today, take heart. Even when you think that hopelessness is trying to set in, trying to have its way with you, take heart. Even when your financial Even when your financial status is not the overflow God has promised you with. Take heart. Even when you feel like, Lord, where is my spouse? Where is he? It's not good for man to be alone. I know your desire for me is to have a husband. Even when Seems like it's just, you're still in the waiting. You're tired of being alone. Take heart. Even when things are not in favor, always in favor, or going correctly as you think it should, or what you are hopeful for, for your family members. Take heart. Take heart. Those things that you are right now experiencing lack in. Take heart. Jesus says, I will. I will. I will. And to understand the fruits of the Spirit, one of many is patience. Have patience. Have patience. I will do as I said that I will do. Only believe. Even when you're not seeing it right now. Only believe. It shall come to pass. And I know. That I receive. I receive it. I receive it. I receive it by faith. And my heart posture is just belonging to the Lord. It's just belonging to the Lord. And just to please him, not people. And to constantly, daily speak the truth and to walk in the truth. I can't be any other way. I, I there's no other way for me. And I just speak for myself. There's no other way for me. And and just knowing that the Lord is still working in and through me. And he's equipping me. And just elevating me. How and which ways that he chooses. I'm his vessel. I, I am a willing vessel. I'm willing. And I trust the process. Even when it doesn't look like it. Even when I think it should be like this or it should be like that. Oh, why not? How come? What did I do? Even when, even our breakthroughs our physical manifestations, our healing, even when, take heart. David says, Psalms 27, verse 13, I remain confident of this. I will see. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait. And I say to you, family, take heart, be strong in the Lord, wait for the Lord. You and I shall surely see the goodness of God. We shall surely live in the goodness of God for all of our days in the land of the living. We shall not die. We shall live 
in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Take heart. Take heart. Be strong. Wait for the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Because, listen, there's not even no because I retract on that word. If we do not, what else or who else are you waiting for? All gifts come from the Father of light, which meaning gifts of finances, gifts of, of transportation, gifts of shelter, gifts of your significant covenant spouse that God has ordained for you to be with, gifts of wisdom, gifts of job opportunities, gifts of business opportunities, gifts. Gifts comes from the Father. It all comes from the Father. Everything. The Creator. Not creation. Creator. It all comes from the Father. So therefore, you wait for the Lord. If we're not waiting for the Lord, what or who else we wait for? There's not anything or anyone else. Sorry, but not sorry. It's the word of God. We wait for the Lord. We wait for the Lord. We wait for the Lord. Psalms 29, verse 11 says, The Lord gives strength to his people. How many of you are his people? Amen. The Lord blesses his people with peace. The Lord blesses his people with peace. Family, let's pray. Father, Father, holy, holy is your name. How magnificent you are. How strong you are. How good you are. Even when we don't deserve it. Father, we put our trust in you. We seek you. You know our depths in our hearts. You know our needs. You know all things about us. And Father, I ask that you meet us there. You meet us there in that place that no one knows. In that place where I have not spoke of. In that place where my brothers and sisters in Christ have not spoke of. Meet us there. And may you overflow us, Father God. Give us the abundance, Lord, of your peace, of your joy, your wisdom knowledge in Jesus name that you fulfill us Lord you fill us with yourself and as you fill fill each and every one of us with yourself you empty that you empty out ourselves our fleshly thoughts our fleshly needs our fleshly desires, our fleshly enticements, all those things that are unclean, Father God. You empty us from it. And Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you that it is true. We thank you that you are faithful. We thank you that you are willing and that you will. And we trust you, Lord. We believe you for it. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen. Family, be expecting, be anticipating what the Father has for you. And again, you know, the abundance, the abundance, how you see the Lord, all the things that are in the Lord, his promises, and his promises are yes and amen for us. The abundance of all these things, great and wonderful things that the Father has for us, the abundance of it. And I pray the abundance of it. The abundance of it. The overflow of it. Amen. Just overflow. 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 
overflow, overflow in the name of Jesus. Family, I thank you all. I thank you all, followers of Christ, for just trusting this ministry, trusting the Lord to speak in and through me, to speak his word unto you, family. And again, it's fellowship together. We are in this together in Christ. Amen. No one is alone. No one is alone. And feel free to reach out if you need prayer for anything. Reach out to me. Amen. I want us all to engage with each other. And again, to, you know, um, join the community. A group me. Join the community. Join the community. Amen. And again, you know, and to engage uh, with Fellowship Social Mixer. Also to engage with Hearts on Fire for Christ Mondays. And of course, Testimony Tuesdays. Amen. And also affirmation thursdays amen glory be to god family i love y'all with the love of christ know that god has you god has you and we thank him for the gift of discernment we thank you lord i know that was for me and for somebody else who's under the sound of my voice that's for me for somebody and for someone else. Amen. We thank you, Lord. And we just thank you, Father God, that you prepare a table in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our head with oil. Our cup overflows. And we thank you that no evil weapon formed against us shall prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And family. Yes, Lord. Family, if we believe that no evil weapon shall prosper, any evil tongue that rises up against us in judgment, we shall condemn that he prepares a table in the presence, prepares a table in the presence of our enemies, prepares you and I a table in the presence of our enemies. And he anoints our head with oil. If we believe those, all, all other words that God has spoke, written in his word, his love letter to us, Same thing. We believe. We doubt. We, we doubt not. We believe. We doubt not. We believe. All things he says. All things he says. Remember, his word does not fall to the ground. Amen. Glory to God. All things. All things. The Lord says he blesses his people with peace. Believe it. He gives strength to his people. Believe it. He will keep me and you safe in his dwelling. Believe it. He hides you and I in the shelter of his sacred tent. Believe it. He set you and I high upon a rock. Believe it. Everything the Lord says, believe it. Our head will be exalted above the enemies who surround us. Believe it. Glory to God. Believe it. Even though my mother, my father forsaken me, the Lord received me. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it. Believe it, family. Believe it. Believe it. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. He's waiting on you. John 3, 16. He's waiting on you. Confess with your mouth, believe in your heart. You shall be saved. Do not deceive yourselves, family. As your pastor of this ministry, I tell you, do not deceive yourselves. Do not deceive yourselves. Don't just be hearers of the word. Be doers of the word. Remember, the Holy Spirit says you are real time a walking, breathing, living memorial because of God, what he has done for us, his gift unto us. We don't play church. We don't play church. You are a new creation in Christ. 
There's not anything fake about it. You either you are or you're not. You are or you're not. In private and public. You are. Fruit. Jesus says they're fruit. You can tell they're fruit. They're fruit. You know who they are. You see the fruit. Amen. Do not deceive yourselves. I love you all for the love of Christ. I thank you all for tuning in. I thank you for the followers of Christ in this ministry. Feel free to share. Feel free to subscribe. Amen. Feel free to just listen to other video messages. Amen. And if it resonates with you, if the spirit nudges you, hey, give a thumbs up. Amen. Uh, leave a comment. Amen. Um, you guys, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Be strong, take heart, wait for the Lord. You will see. To remain. <laughs> to remain. To remain. Which means no hopscotch. No hokey pokey. No anything. To remain, to stand still. Firm. Planted. To remain in his goodness. To remain confident. I will see the goodness of the Lord. No matter all these things. The troubles I'm experiencing. My trials. My tribulations. The fire I'm walking in. No matter these things. No matter these things. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Wait for the Lord. Amen. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. This is Fellowship Social Mixer. Happy Sunday. Eat a good meal. Be safe. I love you all with the love of Christ. You are blessed. Be a blessing unto others. And be of good cheer. He chose you and I. Amen. He chose you and I. The desires that you have. That are in his will for your life. It will come to pass. Be confident. Remain confident. That's part of the goodness and much much more that includes the goodness of the Lord the desires that you have that he gave put into you put into your heart what you are asking for what you're seeking for it's all from the Lord it all comes from the Lord our Heavenly Father Amen Peace be unto you, family. I am your pastor of this ministry. It will be the will of the Lord. We will talk soon. You guys, enjoy the rest of your day.